It is believed that Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim is currently seeking temporary protection at the Turkish Embassy in Jalan Yutan Ampang. He arrived here at 2 p.m. this afternoon and uh, at the moment his lawyers are with him inside. A group of about 100 Anwar supporters gathered outside the embassy from about 4 p.m. to show their support to him. Some PKR leaders turned up in the following hours. Nevertheless, the police say the situation is under control. According to Anwar's blog, he sought refuge within the Turkish embassy at the invitation of his ambassador to Malaysia, Barlas Ozuna. The de facto PKR leader said he had gone to the embassy because he feared his personal safety was in danger. Earlier, Anwar's wife and PKR President Datin Sri Wan Aziza Wan Ismail held a press conference after the PKR Supreme Council meeting to release four pictures showing Muhammad Saiful Bukhari Azlan, the man who made a police report alleging sodomy by Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. I have actually a picture showing that uh, the link to um, the deputy prime minister. One of the pictures was taken at the office of the deputy prime minister. Muhammad Saiful was in posing with Khairil Anas Yusof, an aide at the DPM's office. The other pictures were of Muhammad Saiful posing with Agriculture and Agro-based Minister Datuk Sri Mustafa Mohamed, Tourism Minister Datuk Azalina Otman, and Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs Minister Datuk Sharir Abdul Samad. Muhammad Saiful, a student leader at a local university and Anwar's special assistant during the March general election, made the police report against Anwar last Thursday. Dr. Wan Aziza claimed the accusations was an attempt to politically assassinate Anwar. Very much, this is the second conspiracy. And uh, I'd like to say that there is a second political conspiracy and a political murder that has been committed against my husband. Dr. Wan Aziza, however, could not tell when the pictures were taken and did not disclose who forwarded them to her handphone. Charanjit Kaur, The Star, Malaysia.